Got some breaking news for you here today. Qualcomm and HTC Vive have announced they are doing a standalone virtual reality headset. Powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. This shouldn't be confused with the other standalone virtual reality headset which was announced at Google I.O. which Qualcomm is also supporting. This is another virtual reality headset. Qualcomm have been very busy working in the virtual reality space besides also supporting these two standalone virtual reality headsets. They also support HTC Vive's Viveport content platform. It's clear that headset manufacturers realize that the way forward for virtual reality is standalone, meaning that you don't need any wires or you don't need a specific room size, you don't need a high-end virtual reality PC or a laptop, or you don't need a specific phone which is compatible with like the Samsung Gear VR. To make virtual reality more accessible, you need to have it as a standalone headset. But what does this really mean? It'll be easy. It'll be put it on your mom's head, you'll be put it on your dad's head, you'll be put it on your friend's head, you can just bring the headset, take it to a party, bring the headset, take it outside, explain what virtual reality really is about because it's going to be standalone. You don't need a phone, you don't need a PC, you don't need any of the other stuff. What I find really interesting in Qualcomm's press release is that they said, HTC Vive is working with Google to deliver the best in-class standalone virtual reality solution to the Western markets. However, today HTC and Qualcomm are jointly announcing a premium standalone VR experience to the China market. What is going to be the difference between the Google headset standalone and HTC Vive's standalone headset? If they're both powered by Qualcomm, what's going to be the major differences? China versus the West already have a lot of people who actually understand what gaming is all about. They're perhaps a little bit more tech savvy and they have a lot of VR arcades. Whilst in the West, it's still a little bit newer. People might not know of virtual reality as much as people in China do. Is there going to be a difference in quality? Is there going to be a difference in content? So what do you think the future of virtual reality is? Is it going to be standalone? Is this the way forward? What are the pros and cons? Let me know your thoughts. Put them in the comments below. And if you want to hear the latest breaking news, please like, share and subscribe to VR Focus and I will see you next time.